And we're back. So we just got into CSEC, which is all. It's lovely. There are two missions we want to do, and we want to do them in order. So we're going to start with locate or create decryption software. We're not going to be creating anything. We're not talented enough. Press all the pluses. Ah, uh, we don't need that. No. Go away. So we have to words decrypt a file, upload it to the public job server. So we head over to Deck Solutions, which is over here. And we want to probe this sucker. And there's a file. Well, there's always a file. Well, there isn't always a file. You can run the analyze command as many times as you want. Or you can just do solve encrypt. Because they make encryption software. You can you can run your port stuff uh, while you do that. And then port hack. Unlocked. Port hack. This is the first machine. You can rummage around if you want. But I'm just going to go scan and collect the mainframe. I'm going to probe on you. What do you got on me? And we have to crack five. Have to bounce 21. It's TV 25. Okay, so the reason I'm doing these in order is uh, I'm not sure if it's been fixed. But there are instances where you needed particular software, which we are getting right now. And if you didn't have it, a mission would trigger. You couldn't complete the mission. You went back to do one of these missions and it would break the quest chain. As in, you couldn't turn in the, the, the story mission anymore. And then what do you do? You're boned. There's a thread up on the Steam discussions about how to fix some of these issues. I haven't actually looked into it myself, but the developer said that it's all changed now, kind of, with the abandonment of uh, particular quests. But we could just be on the safe side. Few file system. Staff. A carry. SCP. Decipher. Oh, don't make me type things out. I hate typing things out. We'll get that. We'll wipe our logs on this one. Why not? Shouldn't matter. So we got the software and we say, yeah, we... Oh, wait. No, I'm picking up the other mission. Don't mind me. Encrypt source on the crossroads, which is over there. Which we just have to run for a hack on. View file system home. Decipher and it's encrypt source. The resulting file will be a .cs. So encrypted files can also have a password and some of them will have an IP address in their header. See, secure source, encryption source IP, yada yada yada. So now we go to the public drop and we upload what we just got. Transfer complete. Now it can apply. Contract successful. New asset, which is the theme changer. You can grab that whenever you want. We'll head straight back to CSEC. Contract listing. Now we want to do track an encrypted file. Through the spyglass. So we connect it to this guy's battle station. And web server 80, FTP 21, SSH. I should rename those. So this file is the one that lets us get the IP address of where the file was encrypted. File system, home, work, there it is. If you find anything, so we just reply to this one. 
and then he says head to there and we have to get the IP for the file csec encode one. So that one. So deckhead uh, csec encode. Which is 168.61.82.245. Now we want to probe. And SQL 1443 Plenty of time for this one. And so we need to get the password for the file or the firmware specifications, whatever it was. really interested, I'm sure you'll find out what exactly it's talking about. And I encourage you to. What clogs? Uh, is it this one? WinC firmware, so the password is beep beep. And we'll wipe our logs. Why not? We'll fork on it. Apply a text. Beep beep. Contract successful. You done it. So now we have those two, which is very useful. The next one we'll do is check out a suspicious server. So we'll accept that. Red line. Now we can try to get into it, but we will be instantly scared. Traced. Very quickly, in fact. Doing that is sufficient, so if you try and break into the SSH and just disconnect because that trace is ridiculously fast, you can reply to the mission and you'll be done. I'm not going to do that because that has a habit of changing the passwords on this, and I'm going to tell you the password, and it's honeypot, or one word. Just to show you, you know, there's nothing on here. All of this is just junk. But there is a, a thing, so we're going to grab that. And we'll kill our files, why not? So, we can reply to that, because we just logged into it. Which is sufficient. I'll go to the asset server. Uh, theme changer is on the bin. Theme changer? See, on the theme changer, here's all the themes we have. So we want honey. Activate. We have the honey theme. So what we're doing here is we're trying to unlock Project June Bug. Yeah. Decrypt a secure transmission. Why not? There's no means of decrypting it. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. So a lot of, some of these missions have a few steps, and other ones do not. So you can open up the notes if you feel like it. It's Q Q I N N O Q, which I'm not going to remember. Q. We have to C E X E contact on C crossroads server, which is over here. So we want to decipher C underscore E X E. And it's Q, I, and in the Q. Get rid of these. Let's see, I'm just going to see. Collect dot text. Transfer complete. We go to the drop server. Upload. Slash home, so C, let's go to C. Why do I not have it? Why do I not copy it? No, it should be there. There we go. Reply, done. Contract successful, and we are ranked 60 of 100. We're amazing. In 
investigate a CSEC member's disappearance. So now we're looking into a bit. We've well, got to remember CSEC, a personal friend of many people who dropped off the grid over two weeks ago and hasn't made contact with anyone. While numerous private investigations are no doubt underway, I'd like to make this an official CSEC posting. We're looking for information about where. Basically, he disappeared and he talked to us at the start. So we get some stuff here. We want to connect straight to the relay, I think. Not sure if we need to get past any proxies. No, we don't. That's good. And we'll run a run a yeah, we'll want to run a scan on this one. We're just after a file to download and upload to the upload server. Bing! Scan. No, we don't need... Ah, right. We have... It's not scan we want. Home base. So he gives you the IP of the server to check out. Close enough. So here's our file drop server. And do we need to get past any proxies? Yeah, we do. So let's open up some of those. Shell and not that one. This one and should be and we connect back to the drop server. Overload, overload, overload. I forget what his password is for this. Let's come out, get that going, get that going, get that going. Actually, I've just remembered it's Breeze. Is it Breezer? Yeah, it's Breezer. Why oh, do I have two web server worms? Strange. So his security is very lax. You have to get through all of the ports, but the trace is just god awfully slow. And drop uploads, and it's read all hackers you want. Transfer complete, you see. Now we go to the drop server. Upload. Slash home. Transfer complete. And hit reply. Nice work finding that out. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. This is a bit of a concern. I'm going to look into it a bit more and I'll let you know if I dig anything up. Thanks, Vapor. Contract successful, 50 or 100. We'll leave it there because we're getting pretty close. What did I just connect to? Yeah, that one. Getting pretty close to unlocking June, but that's where things get slightly more interesting, or at least a bit more in depth. But until then, 